originally in Spanish, May 2024. Hello, how are you, Yazzie? What are you doing? Editing the video about the mirrors. How is it going with the Alcione? Well, a lot of fuss with the arrival. As much as with the Asterope. There are already two of them. And they are extremely big and cumbersome. A lot of people. There were almost 1200 souls at the Toleka party. Unbelievable, so many people. They filled the pool area and the white room, the red one and the blue one of the council too. All those intercommunicate. Lots of Tigetan journalists, food, music and cakes with juice fountains. <laughs> Eror had a lot of work. Journalists? In what sense? That what you would understand by that. A lot of reporters, for the people of Taigeta, although only for some things. It's just that the arrival of the Asterope and the Alcyon here is something very mediatic over there. The Taigetans only come to Earth? They don't go to other planets? Yes, of course, they are everywhere. But here you see those that come here. It doesn't matter much what other Taigeta ships are doing on Rigel 5. <laughs> and do they report well? Or like some journalists from Earth with agendas? They are supposed to change nothing. They will say what they see or what they agree to say. And how do they do that? Where do they communicate it? On some Taigetan version of the internet? Yes. And it's going to go out to the whole Galactic Federation. Everything is intercommunicated with the super internet of muons. So the mood is high? Here, between the ships and Tageta, yes, very high. That's good. And yours, Yazi, is it high? Tired, but yes. And one thing. I imagine that these Taigetans, when they enter the social media, it will be in the places where there are more people, no? It wouldn't be very productive in private, because I see people say things like, I hope they contact me. Mari will explain it more, but don't be under the illusion that you will easily know who is who. The requirement is that people don't know, or there will be problems. And they will be places of science, spirituality, and ufology, basically? Everywhere. But not privately, no? I don't think so. They haven't said no, but I doubt it. Because it goes against the idea of not saying who they are. If they identify themselves, then they will start the same mess of the first contact project. They are not coming to say that they are extraterrestrials. They come to implant and sow ideas, values and concepts to an intrinsically sick society. They cannot be saying who they are, or they will end up contaminating themselves. There will be rules of behavior. Only spiritual ideas. No, concepts of all kinds that guide society. But no high-tech ideas, or that too. More general things? No, because that goes against the Prime Directive. And the Federation agreed to the project on the condition that it is respected. And will they be only in Spanish and English-speaking countries? Or will they go to other language regions? They will be all over the world. But will they be allowed to demonstrate their high knowledge of things? Correct what people say about how, for example, ETs communicate, what kind of waves, muons, etc.? I imagine it would be somewhat difficult for them not to show what they know, or not to want to correct what people say. That's why they need training. They won't be able to be so open with everything they know. 
I imagine they will also make small articles that will be shared on science pages. All kinds of volunteered information, from small comments on some YouTube video, Twitter or X or whatever it's called, even scientific articles and whole YouTube channels like Mario Zael, but from the position of being human star seeds. But I don't know more, so I speculate on that. And what is the purpose? To change the collective unconscious, yes, but with what specific purpose? It's not to open ET contact later, is it? That's right. It's to guide the values towards the positive. It is not to propitiate ET contact. I hope they don't catch the ET sickness. From what they see on the internet, that's why they need the training too. And what do you think will be the outcome of this project? You see where it could go, if it will help. It's moving the matrix, just like star seeds do from the inside. It is the same, but without the need to incarnate there. Less effective than living there as a star seed, but the effects add up. Is it known who is going to train these Tigetans, or are they all self-taught? The Tigetans of CIC and self-taught those that prefer it that way. It's a very good idea. Let's hope it turns out well. There has never been a precedent like this before, right? Nope, nope. This is new, new idea. But other races have been already in the social media too, or not anymore? I guess you can't know for sure what they are doing. Yes, they are, but they are quiet. Okay, and do you already know exactly how many Tigetans will participate in the project? Is there an exact number? I can't say. We don't know yet. But there are 475 Tigetans on the Asterope and 475 Tigetans on the Alcyon, plus more than 100 other cultural attaches, some temporary, who are here to watch the gossip, like the Tigetan journalists. I understand. And one more question: Will they be in circles where the star seeds are, like our groups? Or circles of less awakened people, they will be everywhere. But remember that all this is in progress. <laughs>